Bangalore The Taj West End Hotel, 6th edition of the India Advantage Summit 2022-14 and the 15th of September 2022. The 12th of September, Delighted announced the 6th edition of the India Advantage Summit starting this Wednesday, the 14th of September 2022. Themed towards a greener and smarter future the two-day summit is designed to forge meaningful partnerships and spotlight leaders in technology and innovation who are solving the greatest sustainability challenges facing us today. The recent flooding in Bengaluru and extreme climate events in other parts of India requires urgent mitigation and adaptation measures. The event will showcase best practices in digital transformation and innovation across various sectors to combat the extreme effects of climate change in future. Mr. Nandan Neelkani Chairman and Co-Founder of Infosys and Founding Chairman of Unique Identification Authority of India said that roughly 260 million people are using the OP and another 150 million people use Aadhaar-enabled payment system to withdraw money from their bank accounts, so if you think about it, by and large the people who use Aadhaar-enabled payment systems are not generally people who are on smartphones, they use the OP system of payments to withdraw money. Uh, skill certificates to show that they have particular skills and they can use that certificate and their data to take, get another job and so on. So that will create more liquidity in the, in the labor pool, payment infrastructure and so on and so forth. So fundamentally, it's not just about government enabling this digital infrastructure. It's also about creating it in a way that private innovators can be. So the concept of publicly funded digital infrastructure on which a lot of private innovation can happen is not a new idea, it's been around for 20 years. What has happened in India is that that idea of public infrastructure has been extended to identity with Aadhaar, to payments through UPI, through data empowerment with DEPA, through open commerce, through ONDC, through open interoperability, through Beckon, and so on and so forth. And so it's really at the cutting edge of thinking about how countries can apply digital technology for their larger public goals of inclusion, productivity, education, and so on. So these are all, more, all these tools are by and large available as open source. So they're really there for the world to use so anybody can, you know, take this forward. And we, I believe there's a lot of global interest in this. So I do hope that you will take this back, message back to all your colleagues that all these technologies there, it's all accessible, can be used and can be used around the world. And I'm sure that many more countries can benefit from this technology and we look forward to working with you on that. Thank you very much. Hi, um, uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening to uh, all of you watching. This is the sixth edition of the India Advantage Summit. Uh, this is where we bring together people to discuss sustainability. Uh, we bring startups, large companies, SMEs together and each of them speak for nine minutes and tell the audience how their solution product solves a problem. And then we have a lot of opportunity in this summit uh, with coffee break, lunch break, which is long to network and connect so people can learn from each other, share from each other. And we have all the consul generals from Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, Israel attending and seeing how Indian solution can help the world. And also if there are global solutions for problems in India, we can collaborate and grow together. Thank you very much. Uh, today we had uh, Mr. Nandan Nilekani giving the keynote speech and then Mr. V.V. Naidu from Karnataka Digital Economy Mission giving a special address and then all the consul generals from Germany, Switzerland, um, Italy, uh, Israel who will be speaking about opportunities to connect and collaborate and then a lot of startups. All the information is available in the website www.tiasummit.com.